GH5, as with many digital cameras today, you can choose to either view your image through the viewfinder or through the LCD on the back. With mirrorless cameras, you have the advantage of instead of just seeing what the camera sees through the viewfinder, you actually see what the camera is going to record. So if you are to, uh, let's say, under or overexpose the image or change the color or even go into black and white mode, you'll see that both through the viewfinder and on the LCD on the back. You can swap between them at any time you like manually, or you can have the camera do it for you automatically. So let's say, for example, that you prefer to shoot through the viewfinder. So you want to be able to pick up the camera in your face and see the image through here. But then as soon as you pull the camera down, you want to be able to see the image that you just shot on the LCD on the back. Well, there's a couple things you'll want to do. First of all, we're going to want to flip the LCD around so that it is now exposed. Now you can get to this at any time. As I put this up to my face, a small sensor built into the viewfinder is automatically going to switch modes. And you can see that here, if I just kind of put my finger over this little sensor there, you'll see that the image has disappeared from the LCD and then come back again. That tiny little sensor there is what is looking for that movement. Now, if you don't like it switching automatically, you can turn that off. You can set it so that it is always through the viewfinder, always on the LCD, or automatic. And in fact, if you close the LCD panel, then no matter what mode it's set to, you're going to see the image through the viewfinder. And of course, only through the viewfinder because the LCD isn't even accessible. But let's flip this back around. And on the back of the camera, next to the play button, you'll see a little function button that when you push that, will cycle through the different modes. It is now viewing just through the viewfinder. Now it is just on the LCD on the back. And if I hit it one more time, you'll see a message come up that says LVF slash monitor auto. That's the auto mode that's allowing you to toggle between them. So why would you want to have an articulating LCD in the first place? Well, one of the reasons you've already seen is simply protection. The fact that I can flip this around and have access to the LCD or close it the other way and protect it is pretty great. But it's also so that I have a bunch of different ways that I can view my image. So for example, in our traditional shooting mode, we can just hold the camera out in front of us and see the image. But I could also flip it out and look down on it so I can hold it waist level. I could flip it up and hold it over my head, allowing me to shoot over the uh, the heads of a crowd or something like that. Or I could flip it all the way around so that if you're shooting selfies, whether you're doing a still image or maybe vlogging, or setting up a scene. Let's say that you're in a studio and you're setting up the camera and you need to run back to somewhere else to change the set. Instead of having to go back and forth, back and forth, you can actually look over and see the image on the viewfinder. That's pretty cool as well. And if you find that every time you put your hand near the screen, the LCD is turning off when you're in the auto mode, you can actually adjust the sensitivity of this little sensor on the back. So let's take a look at how to do that. Go into the menu, and under the custom menu button, that's the wrench without a C on it, go to the right, and on page two of four, you'll see it says eye sensor. Click on that, and you can swap the sensitivity from low to high, making it either more or less sensitive. You'll notice underneath that you have that LVF slash monitor switch as well. And this does the same thing as that function button on the back does, cycling through the different modes, but you can set it here if you want to. Finally, there's one more really cool use of having the LCD on the back. Even if you're shooting with your eye up to the viewfinder, like so, you can actually use your thumb on the screen here as a trackpad to move the focus point around, allowing me to position that focus point anywhere that I want within my scene while my eye is up to the viewfinder. That is incredibly cool. It really allows you to very, very quickly and accurately dial in exactly where you want to focus on on the scene. So the viewfinder and the LCD working together are quite powerful. Once you come to understand how they work and how to set them, you'll find that the combination of the two is an incredibly powerful tool.